Well, it is Ask Our Doctors Day. Our first question today is an email from Caroline in Simi Valley, California. She writes, Dear Dr. Orton, I'm a young mom with a bad case of stretch marks. Both of my pregnancies left me with ugly stretch marks on my stomach, inner thighs, and breast area. I hate them. I've tried using cocoa butter, but I haven't seen any results. Doctors, what should I do? I feel so ugly. Dr. Orton. Such a, such a common problem for, for women. You see a lot of this. Oh, yes, and with, it's devastating. And, and it's basically the body being stretched and as a result, overstretched, as a result, forming scars from it. In a nutshell. Get it, and some women don't. And Correct. And, and things you can do, and we're going to get into this a little deeper, is right. basically things you can apply topically. Laser treatments recently have helped doing surgical procedures to actually remove those stretch marks and tighten the skin may help too. But for women, these are like the war wounds this of is, pregnancy. They are. We're going to get into it yeah. in one second. Mm -hmm. Caroline is here with us along with dermatologist Dr. Harold Lancer. Welcome to both of you. Why don't the two of you come on up and join Dr. Orton in the exam room? Come on up. Welcome. Hi, Caroline, how are you? Good to see, Good to see you. you. Let's talk about stretch marks. That's right. In the world of dermatology, uh, probably oh, four, five, six times a day, people ask me about this. So it's a common problem. It affects both men and women, and most people don't realize it, that they think it's only a problem of uh, women during pregnancy. The truth of the matter is it's men, young men women, are... young, old, all ethnicities, various age groups, and uh, it's, it's common, it's a frustrating problem, and people really want to know if there are treatments. So what exactly is, is happening to your skin when you develop a stretch mark? The stretch mark, the, and that's the common name, stretch marks in medicine, we call them stria. But if you think of a balloon with uh, okay. air being blown in, it's uh, expanding the balloon, the balloon stretches, and then when you let the air out, whether it's quickly or slowly, it leaves marks in it. Okay, let's take a look at Caroline here. Let's take a peek. Now, I had a chance to meet Caroline before, and uh, she's unusual in that um, she has stretch marks in a variety of places. And you see on the belly area here, she's still very, very firm. She doesn't have extra skin. There isn't really that Can laxity, that, that uh, apron. Not so much. Mm -hmm. And so if there were a lot of excess skin, then uh, the plastic surgical people would remove that. And then maybe I would work on the leftover remnants after the excess skin were removed. But you can sort of see the little streams. It's sort of like dried out riverbeds. And, and she has it all over. And if you turn to the side, you can actually see that they're redder here. So stretch marks, different shapes, different sizes. Some are red, some are white, some are brown, black, different colors. And treatments are dictated by the color and intensity. Exactly. So what would you suggest for Caroline? In one given individual, they're different in different anatomic areas, and therefore they're treated differently. But the bottom line is uh, her ancestry, her, uh, her ethnicity is a very important question here. The darker the individual, the more mixed the ethnicity, the more careful you have to be in treatment. The first thing is medical treatment, and I brought some of the things for her to take mm -hmm. home and try. Um, the product uh, way at the end in mm -hmm. the silver is really the most important. It's a form of retinoic acid, a retinol, retinal, and it's safe to use. It's applied once or twice daily for about 30 days. Just like we treat wrinkles. You're stimulating. Exactly. We treat it just like wrinkles. Help that elastin along. Right. So there's a medical treatment. You're trying to improve right. the biology of the skin. You want to see uh, that it's becoming lively again. These are areas of scar tissue you want to bring back to life. And then once that's done, then you can think about lasers. What do you, what do you think of some of these at-home items that people do? I know they try olive oil, they try aloe, they try cocoa butter, vitamin E, vitamin A. Do you think any of those things actually work? Do they have a place? Have you tried Did you them? try those? I have tried. I've only tried cocoa butter throughout both of my pregnancies, and I still got them, even though I, I use them almost every day. You were using them from the beginning of the first pregnancy? Yeah. Right? So the, the truth of the matter is I'm not sure that they have any ben benefit. They probably don't do any harm, but uh, there's sometimes an emotional benefit to using them. So some people like to use them for that benefit, and that's fine. But I don't think they do anything for stopping this. Difficult problem. It's a difficult problem, and somewhere down the road, after she's been primed enough with medical therapy, then there are lasers that can be used. And you have some results to yeah. show us of what, we'll you, what you can get with stretch marks with laser treatment. Uh, you see 
be here. There are two photographs. Uh, right up here, if you can focus in, the stretch marks are wide. You can see the linear nature. And if you were able to feel them, uh, you can really almost put your finger all the way through it because the upper and middle layers of skin are pretty much eaten up. Here, after some medical treatment and some laser treatment, they're still a little bit visible, but much, much more so much better. So this was a combined treatment. You did some medical treatment first, got the skin ready, followed up by some laser treatment. Right, exactly what happened. And, and, and the main thing is that this is a very time-dependent event. It might take mm -hmm. 6 to 12 to 18 months to get a benefit. So Dr. Lancer, yeah. what's next for Caroline? We'll start medical treatment, and then we'll start to develop a program for the laser treatments down the road. Awesome. You're with a real pro. Coming up, are you frustrated trying to get your toddlers to stop sucking their thumb? Some common remedies may not be as safe as you think. Plus, are you making the right choice when it comes to the kind of milk your family drinks? You may be surprised. Okay, 